What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with another informative travel video for you guys. Now, if you don't know, I am Mr. Flip Flop. Um, are you sub to the channel? I got to ask that first before we even start this video. Have you hit that subscribe button? Okay, thank you. Also, I need you to attack that like button like Mike Tyson from 1987 to 1990. You know what I mean. So as we proceed, I'm assuming you've liked, shared, and subscribed to the channel. So let's move on. This video are my travel and vacation tips for you guys. Things I thought of for when I travel. I keep a checklist. So I thought I'd share it with you guys to make your travel easier. Mainly for overseas, but also can be useful in local travel as well. So now, now that we've subscribed, we've liked the video We've probably shared it to a few groups, Facebook, WhatsApp, what have you, even your book club. Now let me proceed with no particular order. My pre-checklist. So first, do you have a passport? Ain't going nowhere overseas without a passport. That's number one. Credit cards. Have you called your bank and told them that you will be traveling overseas? Most banks will block your card immediately if it looks like fraud or you have not told them that you'll be traveling out of the country. So you want to make sure you contact your bank, contact, contact your credit card company to let them know you will be traveling. It's easy peasy, takes a quick phone call, let them know you're traveling, and they'll clear all your cards. Also, while we're talking about credit cards, do you have money? You want to make sure you have enough money when you go traveling. I will get into the money situation one more time, but that's my pre-checklist. Now, to get into the actual list in no particular order, As I said, this list is in no particular order, just a list I put together for this video of my travel and vacation tips. Now, first, I'll go with research. What am I researching for, Greg? I'm getting on the plane. I'm getting out of here. Well, did you research where you're going to? Did you research the location? Did you research the local spots to hit? The nightlife, whatever sightseeing you want to do. Research is everything. You want to know if you're going to a resort, what, what excursions they offer. What's going on? If you want to see the town, what's there to see in that particular town? What is the hot spots? Where, what's the best restaurants? So do some research on the place you go to. Like myself, I do videos when I travel. I've done videos about Brazil, Dominican Republic, and Colombia. So you can look those videos up if you're looking for particular information on those videos. And there are a lot of YouTubers that have tons of videos and information about travel. So research. You don't just want to be at a resort, at the buffet, at the pool, and that's it. So research the location you're going to and see what you can get into while you travel. Planned excursions. Now, I'm going to double in on this part because you want to plan some sightseeing and some excursions, but you also want to remember you're on vacation. So don't plan too much and don't form your vacation into a schedule. You're off of work. You're on vacation. Don't be on anybody's schedule but your own. So I will say plan some sightseeing, plan some excursions, but do not get locked into a schedule while you're on vacation. So plan, but don't plan too much, if you know what I mean. <laughs> My partner said we catching flights. We ain't catching feelings. It's your boy Bo Rick. Shout out to Paradise Life. Gang, gang. <laughs> I'm out here living it, man. Paradise Life in the flesh. Another tip I always tell people, and I wasn't into when I first started traveling, but it came in handy later, is traveler's insurance. Insurance to cover your flight. Some traveler's insurance, well, most offer, offer health insurance, so traveler's insur insurance. That little 40 to 60 bucks, maybe even 100 bucks, depending on what it costs for your trip, will save you a lot of money in the long run. Because anywhere, even where you're from, if you go into a hospital or a clinic paying cash, it becomes expensive. So I always recommend having that traveler's insurance on hand just to cover any basis or any what ifs. So insurance is a plus. That's a tip for me to you. 
now we'll get back to money. Money was in my pre-check. Make sure you have money to travel. But I'm also say this from personal experience and from experience watching people as well. Hurricanes happen. Flights get canceled. Things pop up. You never know. Always have emergency money. You could also intertwine that with having your credit cards available and letting your banks know you're traveling. Emergency money is always important. I have personally been in a situation where I got stuck and had to hop on a flight to Miami, had to swipe my card right then and there. So have emergency money available when you travel. Have money for your travel, money for your expenses, money for your fun and whatever, but have emergency money available. I've literally seen people stuck for a week, sometimes two weeks because of a hurricane and they ran out of money because they weren't prepared for an emergency. Always plan for something. I'd rather be prepared for the what ifs than have to worry about if I if I messed up anything about in the first place. So have extra money, have emergency money. Man, you can even have somebody hold money for you in the States that can send money down to you in case you need it. So emergency money is always important. I've experienced myself. I've been with people who experienced it just in case money. Like I said, if you're flying standby, for you guys that fly standbys time to time, if that flight is booked and you got to get back home to work, you got to swipe and book a flight right then and there. So emergency money because you never know what could happen. Now, this is something a lot of people don't think about. SIM card or having an unlocked phone. Do you have an unlocked phone? I know a lot of people will say, well, I'm going to get the international plan when I travel. That's fine and Danny. I believe when my daughter came to visit me in Punta Cana, her international plan was something like $10 a day. That's cool. But if you have an unlocked phone, you can stay on the network and not have to run into every spot and say, hey, you got Wi-Fi? Hey, you got Wi-Fi? And be on the network of the country the entire time and never be offline. Now, what you need is a passport. Walk into any of these phone stores. If you do research, you know which phone uh, company is available in the country you visit. $10 to $15 gets you the SIM and enough internet to last you your trip. Usually they do packages from three days, seven days, 30 days and beyond. So if you have an unlocked phone, go to the local uh, phone company and get you a local SIM. This way you're running through your internet, you have no issues, you will be online 24 seven. That's another good tip because when I go to every country, I go get me a SIM card so I always have Wi-Fi. Welcome, Welcome to Blifo. <laughs> Now, this is something a lot of people don't think about, but I've seen the question asked a lot. Housing, hotels, Airbnb, whatever the case may be, do you have good housing? Have you checked the area? Do you think the pictures are good enough? Also, do you expect guests? Most places don't allow guests, so you want to ensure that the place you rent on your trip allows guests if you expect guests to come over. Maybe your friend's visiting at the same time and you want to have them over hang out. Check with your housing, your hotel, your Airbnb, wherever you book at, that they allow guests. And check all their policies. Do they come and clean every day? Things you want to know with housing because a lot of people have issues because they don't really check when they book their housing, hotels or Airbnbs. So just check that your place is good. Maybe get a recommendation from somebody to help you when you travel. Now, this is my favorite. Eating out. I love to go taste the local cuisine. If you research, you know what country you're going to and what their local cuisine is. Or you know restaurants that have been recommended. Such as when you come to the north coast of Dominican Republic, everybody tells you come to Flip Flop. So, for me, I want to know what the local, cu local cuisine is. I also want to know the best restaurants to go to. Now, I'm going to give you a small tip that I've realized in my travels. The place with the smallest menu usually is the best restaurant. The reason I, be, I think is because the smaller the restaurant, the smaller the menu, the better the food is done with love and care. So I've noticed places with bigger menus uh, sometimes don't have the greatest of food. So check the local cuisine, check out all the places that are in the area you're going to be visiting and look for recommendations on dope restaurants. Because one thing I love is to go out, taste the local cuisine. Go get some good food while I'm out eating, having a good vacation. So eating out, check all those places out and see what you like.
one thing that's super important when you travel, and I tell people this all the time, is water. Not just to stay hydrated, I'll get into that later, but water. When you're traveling overseas, you should be using bottled water to brush your teeth. I don't care where you are. You should be using bottled water for everything. You should not be ingesting any water from other countries because it's foreign to you and most things foreign to you can make you sick. Some water is not treated the way our water is treated. Some water is just not taken care of or processed properly. So you want to be careful when you travel because as I said, uh, being sick will mess up your whole trip. And I'll get into that in a second. Another thing you can do is get a guide. While you're researching, you may run into people who know someone that can guide you in different areas. Now, myself, I go everywhere, all over the place by myself, because that's what I like to do. That's one of the things I do, which is why I have so much fun. But I also tell you guys, it's not the safest thing, and I would never tell you go certain places by yourself. So you may want to get a guide or a recommended person to show you around, take you to places where most people won't go, or a place that's local, but you just feel comfortable having someone who knows the area better than you. So it might be a good idea if you want to go to certain areas to get you a tour guide or a guide who knows the area to make sure you're good. You're good. If you don't, don't speak the language, interpret for you and make sure you have a good time. So two things I just spoke on and I'll speak on it again. Water. As I said, you should be brushing your teeth with the water, and I'll tie that in to meds. I always carry around Pepto-Bismol and Imodium and Alka-Seltzer on every trip. Worst thing you want is having a bad stomach to mess your trip up or a bad hangover from a long, long night. We know how that go partying. So I personally, I always keep Pepto-Bismol, Alka-Seltzer and Imodium to make sure if I happen to have an issue with my stomach, I'm able to still go and have a good time because I've seen people stuck in their hotel, Airbnb or whatever for days not feeling well because they can't come outside. So protect yourself by drinking bottled water and maybe having some meds. Also, hydrate. Some places you go to are very tropical, maybe hot. Keep yourself hydrated. We're out, we're out there drinking four by five bottles of Hennessy, but no one's drinking water or Gatorade. So keep yourself hydrated as well. You can do that with water or buying Gatorade or electrolytes at your local store, sometimes a pharmacy. So stay hydrated, my friends, because you never want to mess your trip up by getting sick. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Mr. Flip Flop, a.k.a. Mr. Red Cup. Where's the Red Cup? I don't know. Owner of Flip Flop Sports Bar on the north coast of Dominican Republic, as well as CEO of Paradise Life Traveling Network Group. So I hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Show your boy some love. Now, I hope you guys appreciated my tips. What I need you to do now, after you've liked the video already and subscribed to the channel and shared it to your groups, go in the comment section and tell me exactly what your tips are before you travel and during your travel. See what tips we can compare, what notes we can compare on how we all travel. To this day, to this day, to this day.